I'm sorry, just seeing all of you, uh, all of us together like this, just, it just sort of overwhelmed me a minute. Um, so right before I bring on our, our final meditation uh, person and we sort of all go back out into the world, um, I have some thank yous um, that I'd like to give. First of all, um, none of this happens. Uh, in a vacuum. None of this happens without a big team. There's so many people that are involved in making this happen. And so I truly want to thank all of our volunteers. If you volunteered with us, raise your hand and let everybody love you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank our logistics team, our organization team, AJ Pell, Hannah, Nicole, these guys. You probably exchanged a lot of emails with them. We could not have done this without them. We couldn't have done this without Leon, who's back there by the camera, the AV team, John and the repertoire team. Uh, we couldn't have done it without Alexandra, who helped organize all of the volunteers. Uh, we couldn't have done the T200 day without a Mina, Alexa, I mean Alexi and Christina. Um, and we couldn't have done it without Sophia and their generous support allowing our lab to be here and allowing us to have the conference here. And also our sponsors, Google, Somina, um, and also we, I could not have done this without my partner, uh, my business partner, Jeffrey Martin. And we could not have done this without all of the speakers from the community who were so generous with their time. You know, no one, no one charges to be here. Everyone comes here from all over the world to like give their time and to pour love uh, into this community. And so I'm just so grateful to everyone. And we couldn't have done it without you, like you guys, the exhibitors, the community partners. There's so many organizations that mailed to their list so that a large number of people would know about this. And as we continue to grow our community and welcome more and more people in, that's the way that, that we do it. Um, and all of our speakers, there's like way too many to list, but you know we couldn't have done it without them. So everyone here, I just want to give you a round of applause. And if you can all help me give all of you a round of applause, thank you very much. <laughs> and Jeffrey, is there anything that I missed? Jeffrey, where are you? Oh, he's in the back. Okay. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Snacking. <laughs> he hasn't eaten all day. <laughs> Is there anything that, oh, uh, the facilities guys here at, F at Sophia, by the way, like they just do an amazing job. Is there anyone that I missed I in the things? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'd like to thank Nicole Bradford because I doubt she mentioned herself <laughs> for doing an awesome job with the conference this year and the interviews. And thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, and thank you, t I'm so sorry. Thank you to Adil, um, raise your hand. Awesome didgeroo, but also he's been interviewing people for us, and Stephanie Shorter. Um, and let's see, if, if for some reason I've left your name off, know that it's just due to the fact that I haven't had any sleep and not for any lack of love for you. Um, so I think that's it, and so, we're going to end with a meditation, our fantastic meditation in Kechi. She's going to lead us in the, the last meditation. Uh, we met um, through a mutual friend, and then I had the pleasure of going to one of her mindful eating dinners, which is an experience on its own. It's really a fa great experience, and she was kind enough to come and agree to uh, close us out in a soothing way. And, oh, I would say one, one last thing. As you're going into this meditation um, and on the other side of this on the next couple of days as you reflect on, you know, the experience that we had here, um, you know, think about what you want to create in the world and how Jeffrey and I can help you do that. So thanks. Thank you. Um, hi, everyone. <laughs> 
Um, so I invite you to get grounded by, um, let me put this down, by, you don't have to look at me actually, you can face each other. Um, and we'll take a moment, you can, those that are not facing me will be able to look at those who can see me. But we'll gather the energy from below, so we'll just scoop and lift as we inhale, and we'll press down as we exhale. And we'll do this two more times. So inhaling and exhaling. And then another time, inhaling and exhaling. And so I invite you to close your eyes if you feel comfortable closing your eyes in this space. And if you don't feel comfortable closing your eyes, I invite you to look in front of you or look towards your heart. And so I'll lead you through a guided mindfulness meditation. And mindfulness is just about being present. So I know that we've had two full days and it's been a lot of activity, a lot of really exciting conversations and a lot of information. But we're gonna let all of that go by just focusing on what's happening right now. And so when we get present, we're able to connect with ourselves, connect with what's going on, so maybe you notice your feet on the earth, or maybe places that you're making contact with yourself. So maybe you're clasping your hands and you can feel the sensation of skin against skin. So just noticing what's occurring. Maybe you find your breath. Maybe you notice your breath in your belly. And if you notice your breath in your belly, maybe you want to place a hand there. Or maybe you find breath in your lungs, maybe placing a hand there. And noticing as you inhale, your lungs expand, and as you exhale, your lungs collapse. Or maybe you find your breath in your chest. So maybe you can put your hand on your chest. And if you do that, maybe you notice your heart beating, or maybe you feel some warmth. And so in this practice, it's really about being present. So what's true for you in this moment? Find out what the truth is in this moment for you. And by establishing deeper listening of yourself, we're then able to develop deeper listening for others. And that is how we affect change, and that is how we do the things that we do to elevate well-being. So anytime the mind starts to wander, we can ground ourselves in what's occurring right now. What is happening in this moment? And again, in this moment. Noticing sensation, sensing the light. Again, maybe you can feel your heart beating or maybe you can sense your breath in your body. Maybe you feel your feet on the ground. Whatever is true for you in this moment that's calling your attention is the most important. And so before we close our practice together and continue to meet each other and build deeper connections with one another, I have a quote. When we start to lose our tolerance for vulnerability, uncertainty for risk, we move away from the things we need and crave the most, like joy, love, belonging, trust, empathy, and creativity. And that's Brene Brown. And the reason why I like this quote specifically for this space is um, when we're in conversations with one another, we're able to achieve so much more. When we connect with ourselves, we can connect with others. So before we open our eyes, if our eyes are closed, we'll take three breaths together, inhaling in through the nose, as long and as deep as you need to, and exhaling, making whatever noise you wish to make, and inhaling again, 
and exhaling. And a final breath in and out. I invite you to open your eyes if your eyes were closed and come back into the room. Thank you so much for being here and being present. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I, Sorry, because I started crying, I forgot to say thank you to two people. Uh, David Nyo and Isabel Barros were on phone calls every week for sponsorship and community partnerships for a couple of months. So thank you to uh, very much for that. And everyone, thank you so much. That's a wrap. TTC 2016. <laughs> See you next year.